Uh, another important issue, Charles, is security. People need to feel safe on the trains, and we have seen some uh, uh, cases in the papers recently about concerns and attacks, etc. Now, if, I, if my daughter was travelling back from, uh, from London uh, late at night on the train, I want her to feel uh, safe and secure. Now, what are you doing about safety and security? Okay. Now, I quite, quite agree with you. It's very, very important. And every time we talk to passengers, they tell us how important it is to them. Um, a number of things we're doing about safety and security. Firstly, investment in safety and security, closer to television, right throughout the whole fleet, modern uh, colour, four camera colour CCTV in every single coach being identified now. Big programme of improvement on stations to make the station environment better, painting, signing, uh, and also uh, more staff, more visible staff. Well, that, that's the point, isn't it? Because you, know, you can paint it as much as you like and you can have signs, um, but that, it's about you know people seeing uniformed people on patrol, and, and that's the sort of assurance that people want to see. So you're you increasing staff? We've just put in place a team uh, who are patrolling the, uh, the, the line between uh, Ramsgate and, uh, Ch and the Midway Thames to uh, increase levels of security. These are rail enforcement officers, accredited security professionals who are there uh, to enforce uh, the railway bylaws and to give passengers but are, but are they, but are they work, you know, they working 9 to 5 or are they working, you know, when they need to be working, late at night? Tell me. They work late at night, in oh, fact, right. uh, uh, they work in the evenings and that's most of the time they're, they're actually out on, uh, on the evenings, particularly on Friday and Saturday nights when people feel most uh, insecure and when there are more people uh, out and about on the railway as well. So if, if someone's coming back from seeing a show in, in London, they to see a show, and they get on the train at 11 o'clock at night, um, are they likely to see these staff? They should see rail enforcement officers, uh, particularly um, in, in the Great Downs area, but there are also conductors on the longer distance services that we have in place, um, and there are help points right across the train where people can call up and, and get a member of staff to talk to, and the member of staff can also radio ahead, every transfer radio ahead, radio ahead and some assistance if necessary. But most of the time, I think, you know, the combination of close circuit television, uh, visible staff out and about the railway, of improving the physical environment of the railway network uh, will help to improve safety and security. And, and what sort of, you know, what, what, is, what, is, the, what is the perception and the reality? Is there a gap there in terms of, you know, people's safety and security? Yeah, I mean, there's a massive gap there. Most, most people uh, do not understand or appreciate that uh, the railway is actually uh, one of the safest places to travel, uh, both in terms of real safety, but also in terms of physical security as well. And you're, you're frequently safer on the, on the railway uh, than you are on the streets outside. Thank <laughs> you.